Hi, this is Crystal Jordan and welcome to an all new season of Rolling Out Reality Check. This is a pop culture conversation based in reality, relationships, celebrity uh, sightings, and so much more. Now today we are talking with Charlie and Otis from OWN's hit series, Put a Ring on It. This couple came into the series with a lot of communication issues and it went from bad to worse throughout the season. Take a look at this clip and we come back, we're gonna be joined by Charlie and Otis. Oh, that was... Oh, oh, oh. Give me my oh, flowers. Oh, your flowers. Can you no. put them in a... Oh, uh, uh, no. Trash. <laughs> no, don't throw Trash. My, don't throw my flowers in Trash. The, don't throw my flowers in the uh, trash. There you go. <laughs> Okay, and we are back with the star couple of the hour, Charlie and Otis. Welcome to Reality Check. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You guys look amazing. We thank can't you. help. Likewise. Thank you. <laughs> we sure. saw the baby bump mm -hmm. on the reunion, but you are like literally three weeks away. Yes. So how does that feel right now? Like, are you guys excited? Are you we nervous? Are. We're yeah. both. <laughs> right. we're, we're a little nervous. It's our first child. Mm -hmm. so. You know, we don't, we hear what we can expect, but we right. don't know what we're really going to expect. It's always so. different. It's always yeah. different when you go through it. Yeah. Are you nervous? I, I'm not. You're not You know, good. surprisingly, okay. um, I'm not that nervous. I'm more excited than mm -hmm. anything. And it's my first time, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think I know what to be nervous about. Okay. Mm -hmm. You okay. know, uh, potentially a second one. I'm like, uh oh, this yeah. is coming, that's coming, or yeah. whatever. But right now, it's just some um, good like, story. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, and <laughs> I mean, everybody yeah. else who has children got through it. So, yeah. what's to be nervous about, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. And we both wanted to be parents. So, yeah. yeah. Now, was this I, that, a surprise or did, um, did you guys not, plan? Not so much. It wasn't really you a know. surprise. It wasn't a planned thing either. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was just like, we love each other and we had a child. And it's crazy because so. we had been talking about it for some time. Mm -hmm. And I, I think maybe we put that out in the atmosphere. We, and then we put it voila, out and it really came right spoke it into happened. existence. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, it's interesting. Before we get into this interview, I, we got you guys a little gift. Oh, my We have something cool. that is Thank you. gender neutral, oh, right? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Wow. We love that. That is from so Rolling Out. Oh, of course. that would be perfect. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can't review you can, We gotta show the camera because it yeah, is yeah. a dream bright bear dream so that he can oh, have his, cool. follow his dreams. It's blue, it's blue. Yeah, wow, so now nice. we know it's a little Thank boy, you. so he can always follow his dreams from yes. rolling out. Perfect. Thank you guys. Perfect. 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 Thank you so much. So oh, sure. That's cool. Very cute. It always has, I think we. it's important to give gifts that have a, a significant meaning. Yes. So. We're at a time when we want our children to feel like they can do whatever and to follow their dreams. So Thank you. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Thank yeah. you. So uh, before we get into the, to the show, to put a ring on it, I want to ask you both, I'm going to start with you, Charlie, what are you looking forward to the most about being a mom? Um, I feel like I've always had mother instincts. Uh -huh. I have nephews. Uh -huh. They're like grown now, but uh -huh. I kind of help raise them. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've always had those mother instincts really, yeah instincts okay. and so what i'm looking forward to is that i will it's my child yeah that i will be with every day mm -hmm. be raising and be and a little so, bit of you a little bit yeah, of me, a little bit of oldest and yeah. we're, i'm just really excited about it okay. like, it's just a different type of feeling yeah, yeah it's nothing like it no what is what about you what is what is the most exciting thing about um, being a dad the most exciting thing i think is um it's almost like duplicating yourself mm -hmm. or part of yourself into them and at the same time duplicating like my parents because mm -hmm. I had great parents and I'm really yeah. blessed to have that mm -hmm. and yeah. to take what I learned from them or what I can remember and witnessed mm -hmm. throughout my childhood and then you know pass that torch yeah. a, it, I think that's a beautiful thing yeah. um, I'm looking forward to that Absolutely. Well, you all look amazing, and I'm Thank sure you guys you. are going to be great parents. Thank you. Now, we're talking about Put a Ring on It, and this season was especially explosive. It's just like <laughs> very interesting season. I always want to ask couples when I see them start this show and you start the process and we learn a little bit about you, what was it about this opportunity that made it something that you all decided to do together? Because you know that, you know, the public is going to be in your yeah. relationship. People are going to be you know, basically diagnosing the relationship, yeah. putting mm -hmm. their own opinions into it. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be, you know, on a global format. Mm -hmm. So why did you all decide at that time 
to go on a reality show to either put a ring on it or put yeah. a move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, a big part of, of it was that we wanted a third party okay. input. Um, we thought that having a neutral, you know, third party mm -hmm. input to so some of the issues we were having, based, mostly communication mm -hmm. for us, uh, would bring some light to it. I mean, we knew this person would just be another human being, mm -hmm. you know, speaking their opinion, but at the same time, you know, we were open to listening okay. uh, to, to what it was they can bring to our attention. So that was the biggest part mm -hmm. uh, because I, we did struggle a lot with her feeling like she's right, I feel like I'm right. So mm -hmm. then what's the real story kind yeah. of thing? Who's really right? Who's really right? <laughs> and, and yeah. you know, so the third party thing and then um, we weren't concerned about the, the general public's opinion mm -hmm. because we knew what our story was, our, our true story, you know, with us mm -hmm. was. So there was no real real concern. Yeah. I don't think going into yeah. it at least anyway. Not with that. We weren't thinking. Thinking that it would it would turn out the way it did and people's <laughs> opinions would be what they are. Yeah. Because that's not really our actual story. Okay. So our our concern wasn't there. You know what I mean? In that okay. kind of way. Yeah. So let me ask you this. What were some of the, besides you guys both thinking you're right, I think most couples can probably relate to that. <laughs> you know, what were some of the issues communication wise? Because I think that is like the biggest thing that we saw from you all this season. Um, what were some things that were happening? Like, give us an example of, of something that happened. That you were like, okay, we need to get some help. We need to get some assistance. I, I honestly think that um, it was more intense for us mm -hmm. than it was would ever have, that it, normally is okay um because yeah. i was pregnant but mm -hmm. i didn't know mm -hmm. so those hormones and emotions oh, were okay. already yeah and there were moments and times where otis was like what's happening <laughs> yeah do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Go, going through it yeah yeah and, he, not, he and not understanding you know and not even recognizing this version of charlie sometimes yeah. okay yeah uh, and I mean, yeah, it, it put me in an interesting place for sure. It yeah. Did. And then having the influence of like, you know, production producers uh -huh. and all that, uh -huh. and, you know, yeah. maybe not necessarily feeling comfortable with certain things, but we knew what we signed up for uh -huh. and especially not feeling comfortable with certain things. Once I found out I was pregnant. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. Um, How far into the process before you realized that you were pregnant? I realized I was pregnant around, um, it was kind of towards the end of the process. Okay. It was like my dates with um, yeah. Chris. I thought about that. I was like, she's going on yeah. dates with other people and she's pregnant. That can't I didn't know I was right. pregnant yet. Okay. Right? Yeah. So I found out towards like that last, that last date, yeah. okay. I did not want to go Keep on going. another date. That makes sense. Yeah. I did it. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you know how things go. Uh -huh. And so a lot of people had questioned like, why was she on yeah. the other day? And I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> well, we know why I did that. But right. Yeah, I didn't. I knew by then. Okay. Um, and so for me, it's like, okay, uh, the it, kind of, it, it changes things for mm -hmm. me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Right. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's not like I went on the show knowing I was pregnant. I yeah, didn't. you did not know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that's, I mean, obviously that's like, that's a total different situation yeah. once you're pregnant. You, neither of you would have wanted to go on no. dates yeah. in front of the other. I wouldn't other. have done the show if yeah. I was pregnant because yeah. it doesn't make yeah. sense, right? So, right. Um, yeah, so that changed things for me, but I was at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the beginning because initially when we met you all, there were some huge, from what we as a viewer saw, there were huge communication breakdowns mm -hmm. and it felt like even from that first date when you went out and, and then Otis says, well, he felt like you were dirty <laughs> when you came back. It seemed like there were huge communication issues and a little bit of like, Otis making you feel like he was being very condescending towards you. Yeah. So do you all feel like that was a true representation of what was no. happening in your relationship? Absolutely. Okay, let's speak yeah, on it. Speak it, on it. It was Otis. taken a little far um, as far yeah. as the, the the flowers thing was not that serious for me. But, mm -hmm. you know, do you want to talk about it? You want you want to? Sure. I, I feel like I'm you. talking sure. so much. Yeah, no, so I want to hear from not. Otis because yeah. I feel like Otis kind of is the one that yes. the public kind of beat up yes. on and felt like, you know. Yeah, so with the flowers, the flowers thing was a jokingly thing, but throw them in the, throwing them in the trash for mm -hmm. sure <laughs> was like a joke, but at the same time, it's kind of serious mm -hmm. because 
what was I supposed to do? Go get you a vase and fill it up with water for you? Are you, are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, and, and a lot of people talked about the flowers thing. Oh, it wasn't a big deal. Da 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 da. It's uh-huh. a part of the show. No, no, no. Flowers are not a part of the show. Going on dates is a part of the show. Yeah. But flowers are not a part of the show. <laughs> You know what I mean? Can, look, look, check this out. Can you imagine if one of my days gave me a bottle of cologne and I'm just just wearing cologne. it? And, and, oh yeah, yeah someone so bought me this. I'm gonna wear it. No, but you don't think that we're was not the just being polite. Yeah. Well, here's was. the thing. It's no issue with the guy who gave it to him. Right. You just he could be polite all he wants. It's a date. That's fine. I have no issue with him, of mm-hmm. course. Right. But she brought him in the house. So upon receiving them, that's an issue. <laughs> she could have gave them right back to him. Hey, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> I'm cool. I don't I want lie. them. I don't oh, need them. That's a, that's, a fair, <laughs> that's a fair response she could have gave, but she didn't. Okay. And then, you know, and she didn't think about it that deep. Yeah. At the time, I get that. However, when they came in the house, I'm like, nah, that's, <laughs> that's not what we're doing. So, okay. so anyway, um, that, and then... That what segment. About the, what about the go take a shower? Right. Comment. So that segment that we shot was like thirty minutes, forty five minutes long at least. Mm-hmm. But when it's show, it's aired, it's it's a few minutes. N- yeah. Not even. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so it was several conversations in between mm-hmm. all of this, and then it was like clip, clip, clip. Go take a shower, and of course, it doesn't make sense now. Right. You know what I mean? Because you didn't hear how the conversation before and what built up to it, and that comment actually was just. We are getting nowhere in this conversation. How about you go take a shower? I'm over here cooking. Go clean up. Maybe we can revisit this again. And this is like everyday conversation for couples in okay. anybody's household because you need to calm down, let the yeah. steam clear, uh-huh. and then maybe revisit the conversation. Uh-huh. So that did roll off very organically. Yeah. And and But here's what's crazy. The bloggers and the viewers... <laughs> In their heads, from what I saw in responses to that, Mm -hmm. they actually thought that it meant like she might have done something crazy on the date. Yes. But how is that that possible? Right. You're on a date in a production on a TV show with producers, cameramen, everybody else. Yeah. There's no way I would have actually meant it that kind of way. I don't think it's so silly to me. You know what I mean? Some people push it because they're trying to get attention. It's so crazy. But I do think it, it, from what we saw, it came off like, it came off like you were out with someone else and that's, mm-hmm. and that's, I don't even want to be around you mm-hmm. until you've cleaned off from being with someone else, not yeah. physically, yeah. but just on a date. That, yeah. that, that for me was a stretch, but I think when it's, when it's put a certain way or presented mm-hmm. to the viewership a certain yeah. way, then it, it nudges them a little like yeah. down that perception yeah. road. Right. So that's very unfortunate because that's unnecessary to do that. Okay. You know what I mean? On this show. Um, and- what did you, Otis, what did you think of your portrayal? Because I always ask people when they see themselves on television, do they learn from what they saw? Mm-hmm. Do they, sometimes people see themselves and they don't like what they saw and they make adjustments and change. Mm-hmm. What is your takeaway from what you saw of your behavior and your conversation? Because a lot of times everyone on the show was kind of disagreeing with you. Yeah. So did you feel like that was in that really is the way things happened? Or, you know, do you feel like it was you were kind of picked on a little bit? Oh, I was definitely picked on. And, you know, I have my <laughs> reasons of why I think that might can happen or mm-hmm. would happen. Why? Um, I think there's something about me that if we pick on this guy Mm -hmm. and if we point this finger or this angle and this perceptions or this guy it would carry the show a certain way i absolutely believe that well let's just be real you know that's what it was yeah Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. now i don't want to take away from the the actual real the real stuff stuff. that we went through Mm -hmm. you know that happened or Mm -hmm. whatever but it was absolutely that way Mm -hmm. yeah Um, yeah yeah, it was Mm -hmm. And, and like, for example, a lot of the positive things that she mentioned throughout this season, mm-hmm. you didn't hear any of them. Yeah. So the things that, that the person on this show who knows me the most mm-hmm. is actually a witness to and spoke up about, mm-hmm. where do we see it? We didn't see yeah. it anywhere. Yeah. It's okay to you know argue I mean? and have our disagreements and still what we what we brought, that's fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? The other side may get a chance to where, see. Every, it was all taken out. It was about 20%, there, there. 80%. So the yeah. 20% negative all got aired. Yeah. The 80% did not. And to be honest with you, completely this whole entire season, this whole project, mm-hmm. 
we, I think we feel betrayed, you know what I mean? Because we brought our relationship to the screen, to this, yeah. to the visits, the doctor visits and everything. And it was almost a false, you know, um, yeah, we did what they asked. Yeah. You know, we kind of like played, we, we played ball oh, and it was maybe just a, a false kind of like, you know, perception that things would be a certain way only yeah. to see it aired completely different. Wow. And, uh, you know, you open up, this is your relationship, it's your mm-hmm. personal life and you show that. And then it's, um, it's totally different. It, it, yeah. And, and they, and they kind of like make you feel comfortable enough to open up in a mm-hmm. certain way. Mm-hmm only to like stab you in the back, mm. apparently, you know, yeah. uh, in return. So that, that really, that's, that's a betrayal for us. That really sucks. What about um, Dr. Nicole? Because Dr. Nicole is a favorite with fans and bloggers and, and, and the show. Do you feel like her advice to you all was um, useful and helpful at all? Yeah, I want to speak on that. So Dr. Nicole to me is um, seemingly a great person, mm-hmm. very... Uh, skilled at what she does. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of great advice. Mm -hmm. What the viewers need to know is her advice on a TV show, Mm -hmm. it's not just about the three couples in this session. She is actually speaking to the viewership. Right. So unfortunately for us, and maybe the other couples may agree, a lot of what she was saying in general, Mm -hmm. I'll give her credit for it, it, it being good advice, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. So if I remove my, me and Charlie from what she's saying in our scenarios, what she was actually saying was great advice. Mm-hmm, now, okay. unfortunately, a lot of struggle I had was that it did not always pertain to us okay. and our situation. And we would tell a story or a situation, and Charlie would say her side, I would say my side. And those responses I would get from Dr. Nicole were favoring Charlie. Mm-hmm. So, that, of course, is very frustrating. Of course, I'm like, she didn't hear nothing I just said yeah. at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now this narrative is going this direction only, mm-hmm. and I didn't see it go both ways. Okay. And that was an issue for me, for sure. You know, but like I said, in general, what she's saying, I still could listen right. to it. Right. But in listening to it, I'm, I'm also knowing internally, this is not really applying to what I just described. To what I mean. Okay. And what I need, and here I am on this show, uh-huh. pouring our relationship out, and the what, what is the truth? And of course, she tells her side of the story, I tell mine. So obviously, the truth is somewhere in between. Right. But what I'm hearing the responses to be uh-huh. did not sound like it was taken both sides. Or what you said. Okay. So that, that's a major issue for me. That's huge. So we're going to take a break and I want to come back and I want to talk about, we talked about Dr. Nicole and production. I want to talk about what happened on you guys' dates because there's a lot that happened um, with Otis and and Milan and of course you and your dates. So we're going to get into that when we come back. We are uh, coming right back with Otis and Charlie. We're going to talk about all the dates, all the drama and the reunion. Stay tuned. We're coming right back. (laughs) All right, and we are back. We're talking with Charlie and Otis about this season of Owns, Put a Ring on It. So we were talking a little bit, we talked a little bit about a day that you had that caused a big fuss on mm-hmm. online <laughs> with the flowers. And I understand what Otis is saying, you know, I don't think I would want um, my significant other to, you know, just right. cherish a yeah. gift from someone else. Right. Um, but one of the issues that we saw, especially towards the end, was Otis State with Milan. It actually had fireworks at the reunion that you guys watched <laughs> because Milan came yeah. to try to throw some yeah. some some drama and uh, to kind of upset yeah. the relationship. So I want to hear from you, Otis. Tell us about the date with Milan, and then where did this idea of communication with her outside of that? And then we saw a little bit of it on the show, but then we saw mm-hmm. her come back and mm-hmm. bring more receipts for more conversation. Mm-hmm. So what's your side to that story? So uh, the date with Milan, actually, I went on two dates with Milan. Mm-hmm. I mean, they you could see for yourself, they were, to me, kind of basic. Mm-hmm. Um, the second date, I'm sorry, she was my second date on the show. Mm-hmm. And the first day I went with Sheree, Sheree, I didn't give it, you know, a real yeah. opportunity. Right. Like, who wants to be on the show dating other people anyway, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So... Upon going on the next date, the first date with Milan, I wanted to try to give the whole dating thing some energy, give it an opportunity. 
because they're telling us like this is a part of the process. Right. You you can, you need to learn something mm -hmm. from this dating experience. Uh, but naturally, the wall is up. Yeah. All right. So okay, finally go on second date. You know, and trying to give it a chance, trying mm -hmm. to make something. Now, as far as the communication, you know, I really looked at this dating process. Mm -hmm. In a in a and this was a, mis a mistake, but I looked at it like like it didn't mean anything. Uh -huh. Meaning, I could have dated ten people, none of them would have mattered. I'm here with Charlie, and that's that's it. But yeah, we'll go uh -huh. through the process uh -huh. and do whatever. So when I messaged her about her trainer and about having her mutual friends and all these kind of things, this was like. A mistake, obviously, just because it's a show, because you went on a date with the girl. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was effortless. It mm -hmm. was harmless. I really didn't think nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So apparently her and wanting to get more from me, wanting more than it is, thinking that maybe she had an opportunity with me, seemingly, mm -hmm. from the way she responded. Eventually, I'm like, oh, let me cut this off. And that's what I did. As you mm -hmm. can see on the show, I was like, oh, wait, Charlie, this happened, that happened. And I was done with that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, fast forward to the reunion, like whatever she was on, we we're completely clueless. Like Charlie saw all the DMs and stuff. She saw mm -hmm. what the girl said and what she was on and her energy she was trying to put out there. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know why she, she was, was so, so amplified up. and what was the point? Yeah. Like, what were you uh, uh, looking to achieve that with that about. angle? And all I can think of is it's, it's, you're on TV and you're looking to get more of, uh, of attention. Well, I, yeah, I don't know what that was what about. Because what they failed to show you guys that they mm -hmm. edited it out when she initially came into the reunion, uh -huh. she came, whatever your name is, girl, she was really Very upset. off balance. Uh -huh. And I just yeah. sat there and I, I think she noticed that I really didn't have much to say because I'm like uh -huh. a little shocked. Right. And I was like, calm down, uh -huh. start over. Uh -huh. And yeah. she's like, I'm going to start over. Cause mm -hmm. she knew it was just too much, mm -hmm. and so then we, I'm, I'm willing to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So I don't mm -hmm. want people to think that I'm just trying yeah. to shut her down and not listen to her. Mm -hmm. yeah. What people don't realize is that when we initially met, I wasn't rude to her. Mm -hmm. I, we had a good exchange. Mm -hmm. We even talked about we were both from Cali. She told me she was from Cali too. So it was no issue with her at all. Mm -hmm. um, but at the reunion, it was just. You know, like, she was upset. This? I understand. You know, the little shots. It was silly. Another thing. One more thing. The things that I did say mm -hmm. in my confessionals, mm -hmm. I said that after I saw the messages. Okay. But they edited that okay. to make it seem as if I had an issue with her already. Yes, I was and say, I did that, it. That's what it seemed. No, we saw that. You say, well. He said that she was young yeah. and he doesn't like This it. was after yeah. I saw what I saw because yeah. okay. she was upset that she like didn't get another date at the reunion. Oh. She's like, mm -hmm. the producer said I was going to get another date and yeah. we were going to go um, salsa dancing or something. And I'm yeah. like, he had already made his decision that he wasn't going to go on another date with you. Why uh -huh. would they tell so why, why would they tell her that? They were like uh -huh. forcing another date for her when Otis already said he didn't yeah. want it and then try to make it seem as if I was the reason why he didn't choose another date with her. So she's mad. Um, I don't know what they told her, but I felt, I yeah. was like, I really want to mm -hmm. talk to you and be like, that's yeah, not what saying. happened, but uh -huh. I can't because this is a weird situation. Yeah. You're coming at me crazy. And you're, pre you're I'm very pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> I know what, what, has gone, what has gone down. Yeah, so uh -huh. I'm just, I'm not going to be disrespectful, but everyone is like, you know, thinking I'm disrespectful to her. Oh, and gosh. I'm never like that with women. Yeah. I give women an opportunity. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you think, because if a, if, a, if a man, you know, talks to another woman, a lot of times yeah. the woman will blame the other woman. I and never come, and that's do how that. it came And off. that's what I'm so upset about is mm -hmm. because anyone who knows me knows that that's mm -hmm. not. My loyalty is to Otis, mm -hmm. but if Otis choose or whomever I'm dating choose to make a mistake and do something, mm -hmm. that is between us. Right. I'm not really, you know, I'm right. not, Gonna, I don't even know you, right. so you know what I mean? Right. So I don't like to bring that Go into shade my, over there. nothing okay. into it. So I don't like the way they, they made mm -hmm. that look because that's not who I am at mm -hmm. all. Otis, did you have a conversation with Charlie and tell her that you weren't really into Milan oh, for those course. reasons? So you yeah. did, okay. And, and here's the thing. Charlie knows me enough to know there is zero interest there. Mm -hmm. She knows my type. She knows, I mean, I like classy women who mm -hmm. are educated, you know, who have a little more maturity experience in life. Mm -hmm. And 
And of you course, could we, we talk to this girl and see. Girl. I mean, we both agreed on yeah, that. She's very I you said know, it. It wasn't an issue. We both, but that uh-huh. doesn't. Yeah, it, that doesn't do anything for me. There's right. pretty We're, girls everywhere. You know, I wasn't. And that's the that. difference. And I think maybe even people around the show uh-huh. who had to do with the production of the show think that it's a how you look thing. But Charlie and I are far, far more mature than that. You should now. see his, his he, ex is you know what I mean? gorgeous. And this is, this like, is a funny girl, thing. I'm like, they should be. Charlie knows by way, like one or two different kind of ways, three of my exes. She oh, yeah. knows, and she knows this, this Milan girl is not even uh-huh. in, uh, but it has you know nothing saying? to do with how she looks. Right. But it even is, but even if she's if she's different and she's, you know, she's d- a DJ, right? She's maybe more of a free spirit. And I don't have a problem with that. Right. It's like but that's not a reason to like put her down though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not a it's not a negative thing. It's just she may not be his type. It was just yeah. a joke. It yeah. was a joke. Yeah. A little little, you know, it mm-hmm. was a joke. It's it's not that serious. Yeah. Because you know everybody saying? was throwing subs. Yeah, on the we show. yeah, you you know what I'm saying? It's I, I didn't come for the jugular. I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell you that. Mm-hmm. I did it. It was it was silly. Like yeah. you know what I mean. Okay. But um, never picked at her appearance or anything. I even told her when she came in, she was nice to me. Mm-hmm. But during that time, you were already de- you were already, you know, yeah. exchanging messages with my yeah. My, which my which is interesting so, because she came to the house, met Charlie, mm-hmm. and claims that we had talked before that. So uh, uh, as a woman, you come into our house and talk to Charlie and. You didn't have any of this to say then. Yeah. Right. So, so now, you, you know, you're making all this up later. She's it's like, like woman to woman. Whoa. And I'm like, woman to woman? Um, yeah. No, because woman to woman would have been, you would have been real with me already. Mm-hmm. And you're, you, when I said that to you, I was like, no, it's not a woman to woman thing here. Like, yeah. we're already being deceiving. You know, I mean, yeah. what, how, am I, how am I supposed to take that? And mm-hmm. then she's like, I don't owe you anything. I said, I don't owe you nothing either, though, is what right. I'm trying to. So what do I owe you? A listen for you to explain to me? What happened? I'm, I, nah. You already shut me down. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And did I, she know that you were pregnant? She did. Yeah. And to be honest with you, the producers and yeah. everyone knew that I was pregnant at the and, reunion. She mm-hmm. came very, very, and that's another very thing. hard and mm-hmm. disrespectful. And they gave Chris no time. They gave her so much time to talk and mm-hmm. try to drag Otis and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was just too much. Yeah. And it made her look like, why are you fighting so hard? For this, I I hate the fact that she even had to look like that. To be honest, I don't care yeah. what the viewers or anyone has to say. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, it wasn't a good look that you are going so hard for um, a relationship and a woman who is to pregnant over, and I'm yeah. engaged. Like it just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's so, so silly. Well, like, what's the point? What were you looking to get from what you're doing? I don't yeah. know. I think she was influenced, and she was absolutely like, influenced because here she goes with a phone mm-hmm. and a shoot to try to make this look authentic. Was there anything right? on her phone? Do you, do you, cause we, I know you We don't know what care, cause what she said I mean, doesn't, doesn't, it's there, not that's true. That's the reason so. why I didn't want to even engage in that mm-hmm. because from the beginning, we already knew what we were feeling from production and producers. Okay. Yeah. So there's no way I'm going to look at your phone and actually like really Go back and forth give that, that a yeah, chance. Like, okay. It's not. Yeah. I'm not yeah. because we're not even allowed to have our phones in the studio. So oh. for them to allow you to do that, it was it's, set up, it's a set up to make it look <laughs> a certain way, to make yeah. it look like it's she's okay. reading authentic stuff. Da, yeah. da, da, da. But you yeah. tell enough, oh no phones, no phones, no phones. Yeah. So you know this kind of thing is like, and yeah. and the the bigger issue is above all this, and for me anyway. Mm-hmm. Charlie, I'm, I'm sitting next to Charlie. She's pregnant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. That is a little prim- more primary to yeah. all these other things that are going on at this reunion. That makes sense. That and makes sense. for production, producers, and this Milan girl to be all synchronized in what they were trying to do mm-hmm. versus respecting that this woman is pregnant and, yeah. mind you, seven months or so yeah, like she was at the well time. The listen, listen, here's the reality. <laughs> Had she actually believed any of this? Had she gotten upset? Mm-hmm. Had she felt embarrassed? Had she felt anything and her temperature could have risen mm-hmm. and her you know, anxiety could have risen? Yeah. Her water could have broke on the stage. She could have been you know, rushed to the hospital and had his baby. That's true. And That's then true. 
I would have had a different kind of issue a with a whole lot of people, a yes, real problem. We were surprised. You get what I'm saying? Let it go on for so. It was a lot more to that than, than we saw. What you guys actually saw, and we were surprised that they let it let it go on for so yeah. long. Mm-hmm. We're like, well, it's, I think it's you guys completely irresponsible. It's okay, you guys, sis, you can come and get your get get it out and say mm-hmm. how you feel. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. Okay? Yeah, I didn't have a problem with that at all, and I'm always willing to listen to people. Mm-hmm. I am. But like, I think they took it way too far. It was way too much. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, okay, well, since this don't work, then I'm going to say this or yeah. I'm going to yeah. do this. And it's like, you're not yeah. going to change my mind How because I, I already know what I've seen. Right. What right. You've said. And, we're and I'm not going to put call you out or put you out there like that. Mm-hmm. It's not my yeah. place. I'm not going to go on national TV and say what you said. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. It's just, it's not I assume what some of the stuff she said was stuff that you did not share. No, I didn't share anything that she said okay. because yeah. Yeah, I don't care. You know, like, yeah, I mean, we were and we still are in a good place mm-hmm. and we didn't give that hardly any energy. It's like, why would we even play that? Play, you guys play were into in a different you place silliness, girl. Yeah. You, are, yeah. you are. But even when the know. whole DM thing went down, you know, my issue was, you know, with him and being upset about it mm-hmm. was that you telling me when you told everyone else that's yeah, what i was mad at i get that I you know that. i'm like why would you not tell me this before <laughs> Don't i would not okay it. with it like we know what we here doing like, yeah not okay with everything but you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i probably wouldn't have taken it the, the way, way that, that i did. had taken right. it right had you like but he was kind of coarse to well to i thought mention we were being it. open about our relationship and tell dr cole everything <laughs> we were that's what but you i were think doing. i think a lot of the reason why he even i was i was doing that I was, but you know, I wanted to be open with her. No, that's that's the way you I get actually, help. And like, come, you should Cole's try to advice and expertise yeah. and all that. So, um, but um, I just didn't know that it was going to be done like that, mm-hmm. and, and so I kind of, you know, got upset. Yeah, and, you know, once I was able to see when he was, you know, honest with me, I mm-hmm. kind of calmed down. Or and we didn't even talk about it anymore yeah. throughout the whole season. But then right. they chose to bring her back for the reunion, and that was a shocker. Right, that was because, a shocker like, at the reunion. Yeah. For what? So, yeah, but yeah. the the rest of the show, they kept like it seemed like the the several episodes passed that situation, mm-hmm. passed my second date. Mm-hmm. We're still talking about this episode five, six, seven, eight. Nine. It's like okay. Yeah. Oh, over and it, over and over yeah. and like, over. Like and we were so over. beyond this because it, it was. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It, it was, was like this torture. Over. Like why are we still talking <laughs> about this? Do Do you feel, not even on the show, but just period? Do you feel that sometime your way of speaking to Charlie needed to change, and you needed to make changes in the way you communicate? Yeah, definitely. Um, for sure. Yeah. Okay. For the the I think I think I've gotten. At this point in our relationship, three years later, mm-hmm. my patience has gotten a lot s- smaller. And <laughs> instead of taking the time that I probably used to do with mm-hmm. certain things and with her, it's it got a lot shorter. Mm-hmm. And, you know, out comes the real real, mm-hmm. but it may not always be the best way. Okay. So I had to, you know, that's one of the things I did learn through this experience, just mm-hmm. to... Um, regain that patience that I know I used to have mm-hmm. and, and um, you are doing very well it's yeah, it, amazing it, especially it, during it, 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 it's really yeah. you do it at really some point well. you you say things over and over and you ask of someone to change their behavior or the way they do certain things mm-hmm. and they, if they don't anybody mm-hmm. is going to lose patience you are yeah. and so I mean you know I fell short of of having that um, but do you think that sometimes you if know, you want something from a person, you can show them that like re- relationships are usually like a mirror yeah. and like, usually if your partner's doing a lot of something, you're probably doing something yeah. to kind of get, mm-hmm. get that from them. Mm-hmm. So do you take accountability for your part in the communication right now? We know that Charlie has, cause we, yeah. we heard that, but uh, you know, absolutely. Um, I really think. A lot of what I have said that I wasn't proud of mm-hmm. were in responses to things she either said or did. Mm-hmm. And I, I had to learn how to do better to just respond differently. Okay. Because naturally, I don't just say anything crazy or yeah. out, out of out of the way yeah. just for no reason. Mm-hmm. And I had to like not let that be an excuse. Yeah. You know, I had to learn to um, okay, yeah, I feel this way mm-hmm. and 
I probably should say it to her cut and dry, but I can't do that. Yeah. You know? So, um, that's mature. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, <laughs> and I'm gonna be honest, I was going in a lot of it. Yeah, you, know, you guys probably didn't see. I was like, having my moments on and off the camera. Well, it makes you know sense what I'm because we know now that you were pregnant, yeah. and so your hormones are all over the place. Yeah. Um, we're getting ready to take a break. I want to come back and just get takeaways from you guys because mm-hmm. even if the show wasn't able to maybe give you what you thought going in. It still was an experience that I'm sure you learned something from, mm-hmm. even if not from yours, maybe from watching some of the yeah. drama that yeah, was happening on absolutely. the other side sure of you did. guys. Yeah. So we're gonna take a break and come right back uh, with Charlie and Otis and just hear what their reality check was uh, mm-hmm. from Put A Ring On It. What did they take with them uh, that they're gonna take into their 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 marriage and into being parents? So stay right there, we're coming right back. This is Reality Check right here at Rolling Out with the host Crystal Jordan. Okay, here at Reality Check, we always like to ask guests, what was your reality check this season? So what are you taking from this experience that you'll take into your relationship that would possibly make it better or just, you know, give you some guidelines of how to move differently? I'm gonna start with you, Charlie. Sure, well, of course, Dr. Nicole actually gave a lot of great advice. Mm -hmm. Um, I, that's how I go about about that experience with her. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, for us during this process, we, we felt like there was so much tension of us or of people not wanting us to be together. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like trying to no, they're mm-hmm. not supposed to be together. Mm-hmm. That it made us stronger yeah. and it brought yeah. us closer together. Mm-hmm. So if we're if if there's anything that we have gotten from this experience, it's like we went through hell to we stay get together. to this to where we are right now. Mm-hmm. And we're at a very good place. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Otis? Yeah, and uh I'll I'll, I'll say somewhere what she's saying too, but add, add a few things. Um, I think the struggle and the going through the production and working mm-hmm. together uh, brought us closer together because we had never worked on a project of any sort mm-hmm. where we both had to like really work together as a team, as a unit, as a, you know equals in that project, mm-hmm. especially. And so this, it forced us into like, you know, for, from her hair appointments, makeup appointments, <laughs> barbershop, wardrobe, we got to pull clothes, you know, we have to align our schedules and really, really manage that calendar and be, and be and match mm-hmm. outfits, uh, figure out food because the show didn't feed us at all ever. You know I mean? <laughs> they, they fed the crew, you know, and they fed uh, their people and then while we sat there starving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a real thing. So, that's another thing that's about the leftover thing. things. When I came home, I asked for leftovers right away. Cause, cause of course they made it seem like you don't feed me, pregnant. and I'm like, yeah. But I'm but uh, after six hours. But, but the takeaway was like when we were put in this situation to work together so much, we did it well, and okay. that wasn't something we experienced before or even knew we could do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that alone, I think, strengthened us for sure because. Yeah. It, it was almost effortless for mm-hmm. it to just bounce off each other, help each other, uh, support each other yeah. where the other one was falling short, okay. you know, especially like time crunches and we had full shooting schedules. Mm-hmm. And then on the days off, they weren't really days off. Yeah. Because now you got hair appointments, you got you got to catch up from the week. You got to make right. We haven't done anything all week. It's playing catch up and preparing for the next week. Mm-hmm. So um, the way we handled that, I think it both it surprised us both. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it taught us that we could actually do the, the business of what a family would take, okay. you know, which is what we wanted. But then now we're like, because on a day-to-day basis, you know, family is a, is a business. You it is a business. You have all kinds of schedules flying off of, you know, each mm-hmm. other. Um, and although we lived together, it was, we, we weren't put in that kind of position before. Right. You know, right. not really. Uh, so that was a great eye-opener lesson learned and, and yes. we really take away that. Okay. And then just on the on counseling or relationship coaching, you know, I did learn things even outside of our relationship from the other couples. Yeah. Um, some some things on. I don't yeah. want to do, some things I might want to try. Mm-hmm. Um, even in some of their experiences on their dates, yeah. you know, I saw some things. The other couples are very helpful. You know, like th- their, their experiences and their story was helpful for us, too. And um, so that's cool. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? And you guys are also friends with the other couple, with the other couple. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're, I think yeah. I talk a lot with Shay. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's just a very, very supportive person. Yeah. Well, we and see Shorty it. is so, like, she gives the greatest advice. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, they're yeah. both. I, I like both of them a lot. 
Well, we wish you all the best. We're so happy that you came here and, 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 and stopped by to see us before the yeah. arrival yeah. of this beautiful little boy. Yeah. Um, and we wish you guys much success. I do, I was gonna ask you guys a yes or no, any regrets? Do you, do, is there anything that you left on the table? Are there any regrets from the show? I do have regrets. Uh, maybe um, this one in particular stands out that I wish I would have gone more with my heart and what I felt like um, was right for me and me and Otis, mm -hmm. as opposed to listening to production and producers on certain things. Okay, so yeah, yeah. that's Otis. Good. Same, I agree. Um, you know, I regret some of the things I I said that was able to you know be amplified, and mm -hmm. some of the things I said to Charlie. I regret some of that in that time and that space. Um, yeah. Oh, I do have to ask you, but Otis, one last question, because mm -hmm. I did what, when you all were sitting down, were you, were those tears, were you really crying, Otis? Yeah, it was real tears. Okay, because I, I was it like, wasn't, Otis. We didn't put, like, yeah, visine in my eyes, so I can leak out. Red, uh, yeah. I was, like, I was surprised I had never seen him cry before, honestly. Okay, okay, so it's so not, so yeah, we were surprised too. to yeah. see him show emotion, because we don't yeah. get that from him very often, so mm -hmm. I was like. He was just tired of everything, yeah. honestly, yeah. and he's like. Frustration. Is this really yeah. going to break us up here? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm like, no, it's not. Like, yeah. We need to learn from this, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, great reality checks. Again, thank you guys so much for coming and we wish you guys all the best with the little uh, little baby Otis mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> yeah, and, th and um, this is the best takeaway. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, we we went into this process not, not expecting or not necessarily like, hey, let's have one right right now. You know, mm -hmm. we were trying and thinking about it, putting, putting that in the atmosphere, but like, what better takeaway than being engaged and having a baby? Absolutely. We didn't get a well, shot of this part. ring. We got to get a shot of that mm. ring before we go. Mm. All right. Well, thank you guys. And we look forward to hearing more from you guys in the future, hopefully. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay. And we're back. First conversation, new season for Reality Check. I hope you guys enjoyed that conversation with Charlie and Otis. And I got to say, I think Charlie is the most adorable pregnant woman I have ever seen. <laughs> most importantly, I love the fact that their Reality Check, their takeaway from their time on the show, uh, proved that, you know, even if you're going through something that is challenging, having the right partner can actually pull you guys closer and make it, you know, bearable. I love the fact that this couple you know, actually figured out a way to come together and get closer. So, you know, we're definitely going to keep in touch with them and we hope that everything works out. My reality check for today is that you should not always believe everything that you see and everything that you hear. Trust me, some of the things that you see on television or even online are not the whole truth. So make sure you do your own checking. All right. Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Trust me, we have so much more coming this season on reality check. But for me, I'm going to bid you adieu, but we'll be back with more conversation coming soon.